Thousands of people are on their way to Panama City Beach, and a lot of, of the money that they'll be bringing with them will amount to millions of dollars. On Saturday, the Ironman will take place all day. Almost 2,500 people plan to participate in the triathlon. Beach officials are expecting about 9 million to be spent on the beach and the county throughout the week. Many participants bring their families down for a few days at a hotel and meals at local restaurants. But with so many racers, many roadways will be closed on Saturday. The majority of the roads that are closed are down here in the beach, you know, front and back beach. Um, the running is on front beach. Uh, there's crossovers on back beach. 79 is going to be a, a large part of the bike race along with 388. So if you're going to the airport, go early. The race is in its 22nd year and it is the second oldest Ironman in the country. Coming up on News 13 at 6, we'll tell you what precautions law enforcement is taking to prepare for the race. With efforts to get people back to work, Florida state leaders are seeing good results. We'll tell you where the current unemployment rate stands. Supply chain issues.